This cartoon is cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And uh, first you start off with your paper and your four squares. Then you begin drawing into the squares. And the first square one and three, I'm going to draw a, kind of an oval here. Four ahead. And then in square two, I'm going to draw kind of a circle. Well, kind of an, uh, an odd looking circle. So I have the position for both heads of the cartoon characters. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw their bodies, just the outline of their bodies. And so in square one and three, I'm just going to draw kind of an upside down U here underneath the head. And in square two and four, I'm going to draw another upside down U, kind of, here. All right, well, not a U, but like a shape there. So now I'm going to begin putting in the uh, features of the cartoon characters. So I'll start with the nose on the first character here, and it's just a line that goes down the center of his face, three quarters, and hooks up like the letter J. Then I'll put two eyes in here, two circles. One, two, iris, pupil. And a, the, one of the things about this is you can draw a guideline if you're not sure on how to get your eyeballs in the same plane. You can always draw a guideline like that. Then there's a half circle for a mouth down at the bottom. Little lip there, and then. So that's the cartoon character there. The cartoon character over here is the female reporter. So I'm going to go ahead and draw kind of a check there, like an upside down seven or the letter L. Half circle for the eyes here. Partial eye here, the nose is three-quarter view. Pupil. Iris. And then the lips, there's the letter M. Curves out or a seagull shape. And then the letter U. Okay, so now uh, I will go back to the male character in square number one and three and uh, do some more character characteristics on his face. Eyebrows that look like paisley um, shapes. Then I'm going to make his nose three-dimensional. I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to fill in his teeth here. And an up, a parallel U down here. Color this in so you know that this is the inside of his mouth. And then there's the, the upper lip's very thin. And I'll go down and put in the letter U here, right underneath the chin. Follow along with a parallel line here. And then a straight line here and here. Then I'll put on his lapels, which is a check mark here. A check mark there. Continue it down. This is his coat, a little cloud down here on his shirt. Then I go over to the female character and make her nose three-dimensional. Draw a line down the center to the center of the nose and put a triangle. Eyebrow here. Now she has a letter M for lips, a curvy M, and then I'm going to Put full lips down here with a parallel line, and her teeth go here, teeth here, color in. Then I'm going to make this iris, I'm looking at it bigger here. Okay, and then I go ahead down to her neck to really 
parallel lines like um, a rectangle shape. Then I'm going to make a smile shape with dots or you for her necklace, put on her dress or her shirt, V-shape, then I will put her arm in, which is the letter V, parallel, another V, stop there with the bracelet, leave this blank until we get to it. Now for the hair. In square number one and three for the male character, I am putting in these flamey looking hair segments for his hair it goes off the page. His hair is just really eccentric looking, but I, I tell the students to just think of them as flames. Ear is a coffee cup handle or the letter C, parallel line inside of it for the ear. There's your male character. Over to the female character. Hair done in segments. Then we're going to um, go over to the hand and draw one Two, three, four, and then another five here. And that's your hand, and then the thumb is here. Spoon goes through it. She's holding a spoon of jello, I think. And there is. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, the two leading characters in the film. Uh, pretty simple, and then the students can color it in when they're done. And here's my finished product. I did this um, and just shaded it with pencils, but you can also color it with color pencil, or you can color it with markers. That's it. Thank you.